Exactly. Maurice, Christine, good evening to you once again. The one bit of good news we can report here at Gerritsen Beach from our first report here when we arrived a few hours ago, the Red Cross has finally responded and two blocks away, Red Cross was here about an hour and a half ago distributing sandwiches and water. We're going to talk to a lot of the town folk here in just a second. You guys have been patient. You stay right with us. But first thing first, I just want to show you some of the damage here on this street. This is Maddox. Nick, walk with me. I want you to take a look at this. This looks like someone's home, which was just picked up and moved due to the storm surge. This isn't someone's home. This is the Sugar Shack. This is a bar from Breezy Point. This passed over. It passed over. I, uh, so all these roads and just basically sailed down here, knocked into this house, and sadly this house now needs to be knocked down because of the destruction there. Uh, now come back. I want you to talk with some of the folks here. Billy, come here. I know you're kind of uh, the impromptu mayor here for everybody. So come on back here, guys. Let me see. Uh, let me see a show of hands because everybody's. I know we've we've been talking here for about the last hour. Let me see a show of hands. Who's extremely frustrated with the way things have been handled out here? We all. What? What can be done? We need gas, we need generators, we need pumps, and we need a lot of help from the Red Cross. I heard, I heard food back here. How difficult? No, no, no one has food. We, we're starving. We're cold. It's really horrible. The maiden evacuated us. Nobody cares about us down here. Everybody's in Rockaway. I understand they lost homes, but we still are alive here. Now, you guys, uh, and this is something we've been talked about. This is Zone B. This is not a Zone A immediate evacuation spot. Again, let me see a show of hands now. How many people are just appalled at the fact that this is not Zone A? And why is it not zone A? Can anybody explain why? It's right Pete, off can the water. I don't believe it. I, don't, I really don't understand. I don't understand. Really, it doesn't make sense. And again, because there's so many of you, it's easier just to kind of to almost pull you. Who's running low on food reserves, food and water reserves right now? My house is totally wiped out, so there is no food and reserves. A lot of people down here need blankets. They need food. They need water. What it's cold tonight. That's, it's, it's, cold that's it. Now. It's cold, cold now. We need to help everybody. Yeah. You know? Roger, come here for one quick second because I just, just want to kind of. Now, it's not. Roger's not dressed like this because it's Halloween. Roger, you've been doing a great service. All the Thanks, kids man. here that, that have. Because when we were waiting while that's the governor it. was speaking, you were over there. You had about 10 kids around that's you it. and you're keeping them entertained. That's how, it. How important is it to, to make sure. Hey, attitude is everything. everything. Goes a long way. Um, I'm little Raj, son of Lily Bet the Clown, <laughs> serving this neighborhood for over 25 years. Yeah. And uh, you just got to keep spirits up. It is yeah. what it is. Make the best of it. You know, keep going and it, you just you know life goes on tomorrow's another day and we're gonna survive we're survivors guys what yep. what do you do I mean how do you be able to get, uh, honey let me let me bring you in here and yeah, that's the one thing everybody is banded together this is quite a community and I've only been here a couple hours but that's the one thing you can see is that everybody is really here to lend a helping hand yeah we're a bunch of wonderful people here we are trying our best to help one another we're all kind of in the same boat our basements are flooded in some cases it's their entire homes people have lost all their clothing uh, um, refrigerators tumbled over. There's, it's just devastating. This is all we got on our back. Some people, some people have nothing. They got no homes. They got nowhere to go. Nothing to do. No food. No water. Nothing. We have nothing. We, we talk exactly. Well, you know, let me. Uh, you know what? Uh, you stay here, Nick. I'm gonna come. No, it's okay. But but uh, you guys are frustrated because I can hear you There's yelling no from cars. back here. There's no cars for anybody to leave. There's, last night we were walking around. And I seen people living in their cars, sleeping in their cars, as cold as it was. It's horrible. And this, I mean, this community. It's it's not as though there's a number of homes that can take in other people because everybody has. And the people same have family. neighbors have taken each other in, mm -hmm. but yeah. you know, my brother lost everything. He has three kids. They're up at a shelter. They have nothing. The whole house is gone. So, guys, who are we? I mean, who are we reaching? Out? Who do we need to talk to in order to get you guys the help FEMA. that you need? FEMA. Is that it? Is, yeah. is it a FEMA, FEMA, Red Cross? Yeah. Anybody that can help us, that is looking to give us help. Uh, we, I've set up a Facebook page, my sister and I and my fiance at uh, Garrison Beach, Sandy Relief on Facebook. You can add us as a friend. We've been posting. Um, anybody who has out, you know, outside the state who wants to send stuff, we have you know, ways you can ship to us. We have drop-off locations. Yeah. We're and looking guys, for any volunteers. You need, you need it. You just need, you basically need everything, right, Pete? I mean, it's like, we do need everything. Top to bottom. Top to bottom. And one last question before I let you guys go, because I know you've got some things to do. Can you believe that there's a bar that floated down the street. It right came right down the street. Through my fence. We were partying in it last night. We had a good time there last night. Make the best of it. You you, it you all, you. Roger, you, this is one of the one of the better attitudes yeah. we've seen of anybody. But you guys are all. You guys are all. I mean, you've shown tremendous, tremendous resilience down here. We going house to house, yeah. to take their people's laundry and take it home to wash. Yeah. 
That's great. I mean, that's what it takes. Everybody, everybody, everybody's got to do it. Billy, thank you guys for it. Thank you all for, for hanging around. We appreciate You're not. You're not. Thank you very much. You're not forgotten. You're not forgotten. You're not forgotten. We'll, we'll be here for you guys to make sure that you get the, you got it. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Bill. My pleasure. Let's go back to you guys in the studio right now. As you can see, it's uh, there's a lot of people out here that need a lot of help. And they, they said this was the forgotten disaster zone. We're here to make sure you guys are not forgotten. So just hang tough for a little bit longer, okay? We'll make sure the right people get out here for you, okay? You got it. Thank you got it. You got it. All right, guys, let's go back to you in the studio. Chris, has there been any sign of any local officials there? I mean, even police, fire, anybody? Uh, Billy, Billy, come here for one. Who was the local official that was here yesterday? I think it was... Uh, was it uh, Golden? Right? Yeah. Marty, 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 Marty Golden? Yeah. Marty Golden. Okay, Marty Golden was here yesterday. And I will say that some of the people wanted me to say the volunteer fire department that is here has also been tremendous, correct? They yes, have been, great they've been a wonderful asset. The only volunteer fire department in Brooklyn. Yes. yes. And they are the best. Yeah, right? they, if it wasn't for them, we would have had nobody. Yeah, so they're they're located right over... They're on, uh, on SEBA. Okay, they're on SEBA, and they've been wonderful, and a lot of people... They, exactly, because no one, no one's been spared. People want to donate. Resurrection Church, starting tomorrow, will be yep. taking donations in. Also, St. Bernadette and Dyka Heights, they will be sending stuff down here, too. So, right. if you want to donate anything, please do so. Take well, everything. We appreciate you guys very much. Thank you all for taking the time. You know, I mentioned before, I couldn't think of the road, but the Bell Parkway, that bar came over the Bell Parkway all the way down this road. Just uh, an incredible scene here, and just one of many scenes. Everybody's just trying to salvage everything they can, um, because it's a, a tough situation. Guys, let's go back to you in the studio. Okay, Chris. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a break right. here. And